Hi there, this is a review on the 5.0.2 ROM by the Team UB, brought to us by Adam Bunting and Ben Edmonds. We do have an Google Plus community as well as the XDA threads where you can grab your copy. The following are the devices supported by the Team UB. And if you have any one of them, then grab your ROM from the links to the community below. And if not, you can request to the deals for the same. We will be going through the main customization options available in this ROM. And so continue watching. Have double tape to sleep, which was lately implemented by the CM11 in the CM11. Sorry, and here we have the expanded desktop in which there is a list of applications. From this list of applications, you can choose which application you want to be in the expanded mode. So that's it. Now we move to the sound and notification and here we have the volume steps in the volume steps you can choose at what interval or at, at which rate the sound will increase you can see as an example the menu of the alarm so that's volume step next we have advanced option which from where we can control the shutter sound or the safe headset volume it's two options that are useful rest we now move to the next personalization subsection in the settings menu there we go to the status bar and here various customizations available where you can select how and where the clock should be situated on the status bar we do also have a battery bar that is implemented in the rom itself rather than using the expose module so i have been currently using the battery bar if you can visualize on the top of the status bar which is also fully customizable also we have the network traffic which can be used to see the data coming in going out now we have buttons the backlight option which is generally selected or set from the kernel menu I mean the kernel settings which we do have implemented in the ROM itself and we also have the navigation buttons currently I have been I am using it you can again customize as you want the navigation bar then we also have the left handed mode in the navigation bar for the lefties there we go uh, we go to the notification drawer the notification drawer is quite more interesting we have how many tiles you will the notification drawers so you can select to four tiles or three tiles enlarge the first two rows and here we do have a list of available tiles that can be added to the notification drawer some of them may not work but yes it's very helpful you can move along you can organize now you can see 
the changes in the real time there we go so this was it now if we move to the detailed wi-fi view we can see what networks are available nearby in the notification drawer itself without going to the original wi-fi menu and there we go the location mode which gives us three options either to use the gps or the wi-fi as a locating mode so that's also from the notification drawer itself and here we have the screen timeout just for an example so this was the notification drawer and the themes has been implemented by the CM so now we go to the advanced settings here you can see the app bar you can choose any app and switch between them just as in multitasking but not yet multi window which is currently not available but it is expected that it would be coming here is gesture anywhere I drew the C and it opened the calculator I would be showing how I did and from where so this is the advanced setting and this is the subsection of the app bar where you can choose the V trigger option and everything fully customizable and what applications you need to select you need to in this you can select from it now we do also have an heads up notification which was previously on the CM11 and we have an inbuilt or implemented in the ROM itself an option for setting up the LCD density to whatever you want rest we have the gesture anywhere which I showed before you can define different unique gestures to the different applications and this way you can make a shortcut you can open anything you want so there we go we also have a back block blocker from which you can if you are advanced user you can block whatever processes are waking up the device during the sleep and save the battery rest if we talk about the update here the ROM users have an advantage of updating their system by merely downloading small patch files and avoiding the da huge downloads it is by open delta from the Omni ROM, so it's an it has been good inbuilt feature of this ROM. And updates are frequent by the developers, so it's good for us. Any problems they fix it within 24 hours. So yes, we have an latest build from the developer that seems in February 15. We do have an option in the advanced settings that I forgot to mention is the lock screen. You can change the lock screen shortcuts from the call button or the camera button by this option. So yeah, it's also fully customizable.